this thing you call struggle, it's not real. People have lied to you. Hey everyone, this is Cass Contents. Thank you so much for coming to my channel today. I have been thinking about this lately, this, this idea of struggle. And I feel like, though I, I kind of was only able to put it together in my head a few days ago, but I feel like I come from two schools of thought. And what I was raised in, that school of thought, that culture of thought is very different than the culture of thought that I went to work in as an adult. And I feel like if I can put this out there to help people, just being aware of this again or for the first time or putting it into words is really helpful for me. So I just wanted to put it out there for you. Basically, struggle is a lie. Struggle is an illusion. It's something that's been going to adjust you. <clears throat> Hopefully you don't bounce. Okay. Something that's been kind of instilled into us and in certain cultures kind of the working culture versus the not working culture. And it keeps the working culture struggling. So I am in the working culture. I have been in the working culture for my adult life. And technically, certainly I was in the working culture growing up. It's, it's not to say that I wasn't but it is very much instilled in people who are workers and people who then come from workers' backgrounds that struggle is a part of life. Hardship is a part of life. So people agree to that belief without even knowing that they are agreeing to that belief. Because when you're raised with something and then you go on to work in that same something, it's not, it's not a concept, it's not an idea, it's just reality. And I wasn't raised with that culture of belief. And I read recently about how let's say workers versus investors, look at money differently. Just look at money. And workers look at money as something that needs to be, it's hard earned, hard fought, and it needs to be protected and saved at all costs. Whereas investors see money as something to use and play with. It's an opportunity. They look at interest rates. They look at inflation. They look at all these ways that money can work for them. It's a completely different mentality. So why should you care? It's, it's you know, who cares? Workers versus non-workers, different mentality. You should care. And I am telling myself to care because if you identify with struggle and things being a struggle, I think, and there's lots of documentation to back this up, that you will just continue in the world of struggle. If you believe that your unemployment, your debts, your perhaps homelessness or near homelessness, your, I've, I've been in all of those situations um food insecurity i've been there health insecurity i've been there and still fight that if you believe that all of those things are just life and just reality then there's a good chance that you are subscribing to a belief 
it's not reality. And you'll just keep going on in that for your life. And so this is a wake up call to you that you don't have to experience things that way. It's not that your debt, your health issues, your perhaps homelessness and your homelessness, your lack of employment, your all these things. It's not that they're not real. It's not about the whole Delulu shit that I heard about recently. Those things are real. Of course, they're real. And they deserve and require attention. But it's making them who you are. That's the problem. If you have the belief that that is how life is, that is how life's going to go. And those things own you. And that's where your focus goes. And that's where your energy goes. How would those things ever be any different? It's seeing those things. And again, I know that. It's difficult. But if you commit to shifting your mindset and seeing those things as an opportunity. And, you know, mind you, it's not saying opportunity is easy. Opportunity always looks good. But opportunity is what happens when you see things as opportunity. I have learned so much with my massive debt lessons and near homelessness lessons and health lessons and all of these things piled on top of me, you know, often at the same time. I have learned so much. I have gained so much as a person. I have grown so much that I, you know, things that I'm, I'm happy to say I have now that I wouldn't have had if I didn't have those struggles or those opportunities. And from that place, I can go forward and find solutions to those problems. And some of those things like my health, like food insecurity, like um, a roof over my head, I have found solutions too. But there's always possibilities that things are gonna blow up. And it's not a bad thing to always kind of have that awareness and be ready to move and maneuver and do things differently if things come up in life, because things do come up in life. So if you have these huge challenges that you're facing, these huge stressors, the key is to take a step back, be quiet, look at them objectively, and decide that you're gonna find solutions to those things. Decide that you are not going to have the mindset that your life is struggle and struggle owns you and there's no choice in the matter and you're a victim and this is reality and this is destiny. All those beliefs are your choice. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow if that has been your upbringing and your working life and there's never been anything different. It's a hard pill to swallow, but it's good to swallow it and get it over with as is the case with most pills and decide that you don't wanna have a life of struggle. And when things come up, you don't wanna feel bad about everything and sorry for yourself and hopeless and all of the things that maybe you've been taught to experience. You wanna say, that's okay. I'll figure it out. And when I figure it out, things will look completely different for me. And it'll be great. And it'll be a, a long ago memory. It won't cause me any pain. My life will be totally different. And that's my choice. And I don't care what generation you're in. I don't care if you're in Gen Z and you've really, really had it sold to you that, you know, you're just doomed. It's your choice to believe that. It's your choice to believe that. And I can say, I can say absolutely honestly that there's, there's tremendous challenges, again, like my health, like my, you know, things people tell you, you have no choice in the matter that I've turned around because I refuse to believe 
that life was about struggle, that I was going to struggle, that I was going to be in a position that I was so sick that I couldn't hold down a job. I refused to believe that for myself and I was able to change things. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I'd love it if you'd give this video a like and a subscribe and let me know how you feel in the comments because as always, I love hearing from you. Hearing from you is the best part of having this channel. When when the video does well and I get a lot of comments, I just it's just the best thing ever, which might seem counterintuitive to creators. Um, but yeah, so let me know and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.